Welcome to the Mole Confidential Season 4, Episode 4. Alright, we are back here at the lovely Dude Ranch, the Mole Dude Ranch. We have Piper, we have Giz, we have Extra, Mario, and myself. So we're going to get right into talking about some of the behind the scenes stuff and your questions for Episode 4 that just aired last Friday. So the first question is, what is the outro song called? For the mole, if you look in the description of the video, I link to all of the music for the mole. And it's everything for the mole is done by Incomptech.com, which is Kevin McLeod, a brilliant uh, musician, makes all of his stuff royalty-free use. You can also pay for commercial use, like if you want to put it in like your commercial movies. And he's had some stuff in TV shows, and I believe he's had some stuff in some of the uh, Doctor Who stuff. I think more of it's the confidential behind the scenes. Um, But I believe he's got some credit in some confidential Doctor Who episodes. Ooh. Might be DVD-related material. I'm not 100% sure. Giz can do research maybe on that before our next (laughs) confidential. So if you look in the description of any of the mole uh, episodes, the mole episodes, not necessarily confidential because we don't use as much music in this. But if you check any of the the main episodes that are released on Fridays. You'll see links to all the music. All right, Piper. In the video, somebody said that we messed up. Um, They've said that we um, had purple stained clay in the bad chest um, and we owe them all 20 more diamonds. Um, If you look on the video, Boz does actually hover over the clay and if I place them, I mean, that one looks purple, but it is actually blue. And this one is the purple stained clay. And if you hover over it, you do actually see that it is purple stained clay. So I think that person got a little bit confused by visually looking rather than actually playing Minecraft. In the comments, it was mentioned that the third head during the elimination wasn't there. That is because when we record them all, we film two episodes in a row. And that was the first episode of the two we were filming. So we hadn't put the head in. Just yet. All right. Next question we had was somebody had mentioned in Challenge 8 during the question about Lizzie's age, Jashani never answered and yet he got it right. If you watch the video back or if you look at the screen and or look at the screenshot that I'm going to put up, I usually type pad in between questions. Uh, Sometimes I forget to do it before I read the question and I type it right after I read the question. But if you go back and watch, Jashani answered before I typed pad. So his answer is right above the word pad. I'll highlight the group of seven answers and the other group of seven answers so you can kind of see. But he did answer the question and he answered the question correctly. So we didn't miss anything there. And the last uh, question was somebody had asked, what do you mean by who scores the lowest or longest? So when the players take the quiz, they it's usually 10 questions. The person eliminated is the person who scored the lowest, which means got the least amount right. So say you say Piper and I are playing, I get nothing right, I miss all 10 questions, Piper gets one right. Well, I'm eliminated because I scored the lowest. If Piper and I both get the same amount right, so say I get four right, Piper gets four right, but I took the quiz slower, took longer for me to take the quiz, then I'm eliminated in the case of a tie. So when you take those quizzes, you want to be fast, but you want to be accurate. If you don't know who the mole is, obviously it gets even more complicated. So the quizzes are very stressful. All right, so here we are at challenge number seven, story time. So Mario built this. And Mario wrote the story that you heard me read. Now, we did have, just as a side note before Mario maybe talks about this challenge, we did have some people suggest to me that I should we should make a trailer, like a video, out of Mario's story in Minecraft. Ooh, spooky. So, Mario, you want to talk a little bit about maybe your inspiration for this or just the challenge itself when you built it? Yeah, um... Obviously, story time has been done before, so we talked about different ways we could do it. And I think very early on, I think it was Boz said we could have them like around a campfire, 
and have a night, you know, sort of like the western around a campfire sort of theme thing. Uh, and we also thought having a ghost story would be cool. So I think I wrote the story before I started building, or about play, like building this area. Um, I don't know. I just sort of I started writing it and just sort of thought of things as I went along. I think it came out uh, pretty well. Every item, the flashback bit where it's like the he remembers the granddad remembering was partly just so I could have another item mentioned because I wanted it to sort of be good, but also be able to mention items without it feeling too forced, like just shoving item names into for a list. Uh, also, every item, every item in the story is said exactly how the item is called in Minecraft, so there's no confusion. Like the purple stained clay, I had in for the fact that you know there's other blocks that are so similar in looks, but the story mentions specifically purple, so that was them. So I think they put magenta in the good chest, didn't they? Assuming that would count, but got to be specific. Yeah, so I'm going to show the chest real quick. I did this in the video, but we'll show it here too, because they've been untouched. Now you can see I actually uh, sorted these, uh, and Piper helped me on them. We put them in the actual order in the story. So there was an item that belonged here that they forgot. And then this is the second item, third item. So we had them grouped out. But here you can see magenta stain clay, not purple, or this is purple wool here, but magenta stain clay. And if we come over here, we can see blue stained clay and light blue stained clay. There was no, uh, you know, purple stained clay in the bad chest. Blue and light blue. And we didn't we didn't dock points for things in the bad chest that aren't correct because that's what you're supposed to put them. But we did uh, give them all points for these two items being incorrect, and then of course the missed items. <laughs> Yeah. So it was scored correctly. Um, uh, this was a very fun challenge, and like I said, I, I I think it would be a decent idea maybe at some point to make that story into a Minecraft video. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be pretty cool, especially since I wrote it to see it. Yeah, yeah. Like done. Um, also, I just want to say that I think the music Boz, you edited in with that was awesome. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I wanted to put some of a little creepy vibe to it. So, and I just kind of left it running quietly during the, the challenge. Uh, this would have been kind of a fun challenge to do on like a, like a live stream and like Halloween or something and just, you know, have people there and kind of have that spooky story and then maybe have some crew <laughs> invisible and just like maybe even put in some creepy sound effects that are in a resource pack to scare people. Oh, that'd be yeah. awesome. All right, so here we are at Challenge 8, and this was the infamous Back to School. Now, the one thing that we wanted to do here was, obviously, this is the tried and true Back to School. Mario built this one also. Uh, but yep. what I wanted to do in it is I didn't want it to be just crew-related questions. Previously, it's always been crew-related questions, but I felt like we've had three seasons of the mold, this being the fourth. Let's make the questions crew related mole questions because these guys are all supposed to be fans of the mole so and our mole in particular hopefully so i thought it would be fun to make the questions like that so mario piper and myself made questions i think piper made most of these questions I mean, mario i think made some too with her but um we tweaked them here and there and i think i might have uh, had a few left if it would have got to the point where i used all of our prepared questions at that point, I had hoped that it would be a tie at least, and then we would have a question that would have a number related to it. And I think I still have all that information, so maybe in the finale or the reunion, we'll kind of throw out to the players the the final trick question that was a number answer and see who, yeah. who, who can get it with memories that late. But Mario, anything you want to talk about when it comes to this one? Uh, just a really simple design. I looked at how the older ones were built on the previous season, and I just used light wood to make it seem 
sort of westerny, sort of similar to the Mole Ranch. Yeah, this is always an interesting challenge to see how players do and how they handle, you know, their knowledge of things and how quickly they can answer. It's some people, you know, I always see a lot of people try to read into it. They think if a person's slow on the answers that they're struggling or are they just purposely taking longer. You know, we'll get to the reunion. Maybe players will talk about this challenge. So here we have a sneak peek at a challenge in our next episode. What could it be? All right, so let's take a look at our fourth eliminated player, Vi. See what the room looks like. Oh, we have a little message here from the mole. Vi, Vi, not so sly. You lost all your notes. Love the mole. Aww. Aww. All right, so next up is your votes on who you guys think is the mole. And the voting that happened after the third episode, up until the fourth episode went live, you guys, as a majority, thought Vi was the mole. Obviously, Ooh. off target because she got eliminated. So you're still voting right now on the fourth episode. Next Confidential will tell you how you did. Do you guys have a clue, or are you guys completely confused on who is the mole? We'll have to wait and see. And lastly, that moment, that moment of music and, and, and singing of, like, epic levels. Take it away, guys. The mole comment of the week. All right, our mole comment this week comes from Dark Nye 11 and he or she says, Five players, one mole. Five fishes in a glass bowl. One person feeding lies. Who will win the diamond prize? Why do all of our fans sound the same, Guess I don't understand. Um, they're all clones. We need to name the accent. <laughs> so there you guys have it. <laughs> Season 4, Episode 4. Mole Confidential. Look forward to uh, this coming Friday, the next episode, our next eliminated player. And one step closer to, to what ultimate question, guys? Who is the mole? So if you guys want to say goodbye. Bye. 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 Oh.